Hello, it's Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to share with you my newest creation, which is a Dose E-Dose album, totally inspired by Squid, squ Scrapping with Squid. I will have a link to her channel below. She made one of these albums, and I just thought it was brilliant. Oh, she did such a great job. And I changed the dimensions up, kind of changed the journal part of it a little bit. But what a dosey dose album is, is two albums in one. There's a mini album up front, and then in the back is a journal. So there's going to be a journal part to it too. So I am going to quickly just show you what it is for those of you that don't want to um, watch everything. It has this mini album that is created from scrapping, scrap and create from um, Graphic 45's uh, beautiful letters to Santa. So this is the front cover. And then you just open it up and you have a basic mini album here. And I'll go through it slower once I show you what the do -si do part is. And then you turn it one more time and you come to the junk journal part, or the regular journal part. So then this, you open this up, and now you have a journal, a journal side. So this side is using Chow Bella's, oh, what was this? This was Dear Santa. This was Dear Santa. I loved this paper. Oh my gosh, I just love this paper. So we, we made two signatures with this beautiful paper. And I'll do just show you real quick how it, it looks. So that's signature one. And then we use Chell Bella's Sparkling Christmas for the other signature for this part of the journal. And that's, that's the journal part. So we have the mini album part and the junk journal part. So let me take you through the mini album part first. So now let's do a more slower walkthrough of our mini album part. So this measures eight and a half by six and a half and the pocket pages me measure eight by six. So this is the cover. So everything and the mini album part is made with graphic 45 letters to Santa. So this is the this is what I came up with the cover. I thought this was nice and simple. Everything is pretty flat. We have a little bit of dimension down here with these brads, but it needs to be flat because we have the journal part on the back side. So it will be sitting down on it like this. So this is the front cover. You can see how I put that together. So we open it up and we come to the inside front cover and we have a large pocket. So in this large pocket, we just made a lar this large photo mat. And then down below, we have a smaller pocket made uh, with this piece from the 8x8 collection. And then I have these two little booklets that we made from the 8x8 collection also. I just thought those were so cute and those just go down in here. And you can put anything in this large pocket back here. And then we come to page one. So we open this up. This is a journaling card. Put that on the front, open this, and then this is actually a pocket. So we have a pocket where we put a postcard and another photo mat right there. And then we have this piece right here, which is framed for a photo. And this is a little tuck spot, so you can put your photo be behind this. This is an ephemera piece that I put down here for the tuck spot. So we have a little tuck spot there. And then this opens. And then we have this whole spread here for photos good five by seven photos, four by six photos will fit in here. So this closes back up and then you just tie it, tie it back up. I am not good at tying. 
like that. And then we come to page two, which is an envelope. Since this was letters to Santa, I thought, why don't we make an envelope? So we made an envelope. <laughs> this has a button tie closure, opens up, and then this envelope, this first part is just a pocket. So we have a little pocket here. We have another postcard put in here. And then this whole thing opens up. We have this spread here using the letters to Santa, this paper. I just love that paper. And then we have another large pocket, side pocket here. This is an, uh, an ephemera piece from the ephemera collection that I use. So we have a big tuck spot where we can put some more postcards, more cutouts, and those all fit in here. So plenty of space back in here. And then this just closes back up with your button tie closure. And we have a little charm at the end of this little closure. And then we come to page two. Now this was actually a, a journaling card and I just cut it out to make like a little frame and inserted this white paper, this white light colored paper in the back. Um, add a little pocket here and inserted this here. I thought that just looks so cute. Here's a little ribbon pole and there's a magnetic closure here. Open this up. You come to this little flap and we have this little journaling card right here that opens up. I thought that was such pretty paper. The, the color contrast is so beautiful with the cranberry and green. And then on this side, another big side pocket here and a big large photo mat that goes in here some more cut aparts from the collection lots of cut aparts in this collection and then you open up to that closes and then you come to page four now these have little pockets in the front with little tags that we made that you can insert here that one says here comes santa, santa. this one says jingle all the way and those go in here and then you can open up this this little ribbon closure, and this opens up this way, this flap, and then this flap opens down in this direction. So you have a flap down below and a flap above, and in the center you have this belly band with this big part in the behind the belly band where we have, we made this little booklet, large booklet, finished on both sides and that just fits in this belly band and then we have little tuck spots up in here also where you can put photos up in here and down below here also another tuck spot here that closes with a magnetic closure and then you just tie this up again And then we come to the inside back cover and we created a waterfall. So you have a ribbon pull down right here. And then we have this image of Santa from the ephemera collection. I cut out uh, this oval, this was a journaling cart, and I cut out the image that was in there and put this horizontal green paper behind, behind this oval and then added the Santa ephemera piece there. I thought that was so cute. So we just have a standard waterfall here that goes up, so holds lots of photos here. Magnetic closure, and then we just have this image of the stamps that's been um, backed on some cardstock, also some gold cardstock to pop it out. And that is the mini album part. There's only two pocket pages, but basically we have four full pages, lots of room for pictures. And now we'll do the journal part. 
So you open up the journal part of the dosi -si dos and you come to the inside cover, which is created from with that beautiful paper from Cello Bella, um, Dear Santa. I made a little pocket up front here so you can put anything you want in here. Um, Christmas cards, letters, whatever you want to put in here. I made a little calendar. If you're going to be doing like a December daily, you have a little calendar with everything here and a little place for notes. Just going to put that in here. And here's our first signature. There are two signatures in this this um, the journal part. So each signature is made with a different paper collection. This signature is made from the Dear Santa paper. So let's look at this one first. I just love this. I love this paper. I mean, you, you cannot tell how beautiful this paper is until you see it. Um, you'll see, you'll see at the end, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. So you open this up and you come to the inside cover of this part of this signature. Now I am not a junk journaler. I don't like things messy. I don't like things junky, but you can make it as junky as you want. I like clean lines. So mine is kind of like a modified junk journal. It's more of a place for journaling and keeping your memories of the Christmas season. So the first thing we have is this big pocket we made. This is from the collection. And I added this little paper that says Santa's List. And this is just printed on paper that you can buy at Amazon. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this paper. So I thought that was nice. And then I found this Christmas card. I have hundreds of Christmas cards, old ones. And I just thought this was perfect because it looks like Santa's looking at his Christmas list. And you can journal on the back of this. So this is going to fit behind this pocket, but you can obviously put anything you want behind here. Here's that paper from Amazon that I used. And I just used this from the Graphic 45 collection. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Then you have this beautiful fireplace image. And then you have this pocket. And in this pocket, I just put an envelope. It's just a regular old envelope. And I made this little printout to write a letter to Santa, dear Santa. And that you can put anything you want in this pocket. And I made these little journaling areas so you can write because that's the whole point of the journal side is for writing, putting down your memories, whatever you want to do. Some more of that beautiful paper. And then we get to the middle part of our signature. That's where this elastic cord is. And I will show you how to remove this signature once we get through it. This is just an envelope. And this envelope is hiding where we actually sewed these pages together because we sewed this all together just like regular signatures. And I, sh I show you that in the video on how to sew it all together. It's real easy. So in this envelope, I just put a, a Christmas card that I had, more place for writing. I thought that kind of matched what my theme that I was looking for here. That goes over I used this from the collection for the two Santa Claus, and I used one of their stamps for my envelope. On this side, this is all from the Graphic 45 Letters to Santa. I have it against this a wood grain, which is from the, the Dear Santa collection of Chow Bella, but I thought this, this kind of matched. It went real well with the theme of all these letters. And then I just put a little journaling card in here. Some more cards that I had. This is from a Stamperia collection from last year. Letters to Santa. Put that in there. And this is a postcard from Graphic 45. Letters to Santa. You can put anything you want in here. 
Now look at this paper. The, oh my gosh. I, I just, oh, this spread, I just love it. And you can see, this is how I seamed the two papers together so we could make a, a big page, fold them in half, and then sew them in. If you know anything on how to make a journal or signatures, that's what I did. I made these seams, put them together, and sewed them in. And I show you how to do that in the tutorial. It's not that hard. And then I, I made, got one of these, I think it's called glassine bags, and I stuffed I put that in, sewed that in, and got this. I had a, a little card that I had, and I cut these little kiddos out. Made a, a little journaling tag that fits in there. Some more of this beautiful paper. Some more of this paper that I got from Amazon. And then look at that image. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And here's where I seemed this paper together with this little, um, that's our seam. Oh, I just love this. And then you get to the end and then you have Santa. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And the good thing about this, the what, what I like, is you can take them out of their little um, binding, elastic binding, and now you have your little journal outside and you can, it's flat, and you can write anything you want on a flat surface. And then you can just easily reinsert it, put it right back in when you're done, and keep everything tidy. And if, and I don't think this would happen, if this cord ever gets loose or too stretched out, this is a two millimeter elastic cord, so it's, it's thick. I don't think it's going anywhere you could just cut it and take it out. And when you see how it's put in, this is all you see on the spine. You see this and this. And then you just see the elastic cords in, in here. Well, you don't even see them, they're in the journals, but they're hidden. This is the second signature. This is made from Sparkling Christmas, Cho Bella's Sparkling Christmas totally different vibe than this, but it is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Same thing, I, I connected the pages together. This is all eight by eight pages. I, I connected them together so we can fold them over and make these pages that we can fold and put into um, a journal. Here's the inside cover with a little pocket. I made this insert, Jingle Bells, with a place for, for journaling. And here's the back, nice, just nice, it's just a nice piece. I really love that. This is a paper that I had in my collection from Paper Source. I just love this paper, it has texture to it. It's just, I thought it looked elegant, so beautiful, fits with this collection. Beautiful page right here. And you can do anything you want with this. You can write in here, you can put photos, you can do, those of you that make junk journals, you know you can do anything you want. Here I just made a pocket um, with the paper collection. Added this from the Graphic 45 uh, ephemera collection, put that up there. And I just had a gold envelope in my collection and I stuffed it with some vintage um, catalog from the 1970s catalog and put that in here. And that's gonna be in here. Made another journaling page. This is a little bit different. It's more um, elegant paper than the other one. Another beautiful, beautiful image. And then I put this little um, poem, or I'm not sure if it's a poem. But it's something I think speaks to what Christmas is about. Everyone can be a child at Christmas and celebrate with glee. So that was kind of what I was trying to do here. I know in junk journals, they put some little poems or things that speak to them. This one spoke to me and I made a little tuck spot down here using one of the tags from the collection 
from the Sparkling Christmas. This is all Sparkling Christmas. And they, they, here's some little images from that collection. And I just backed them with the gold cardstock from Graphic 45. And those just sit in here. Here's the middle part of this signature. Here's, here's the, the elastic cord holding this one in. Here's our envelope here with a, a Christmas card. Blank so you can journal or write something, Christmas memories, whatever you like. That goes in here. Since it's an envelope, I made it to and from little um, images and used a graphic 45 stamp up here and then have this beautiful paper, the deer paper from the collection and made a little pocket down here and found this Christmas card that I cut and rounded the edges to make it like a little journaling spot. I thought this went well with this Believe little poem here with the little, uh, little girl there. Look at this paper. Look at that paper. Oof, gorgeous. I made a, a gold vellum glassine pocket. Gold, a gold vellum pocket. It's not glassine. And then I made a little insert using this paper. Beautiful. And that just goes in here. And I just thought that that looks so st stunning. And here's a little pocket here. Some more um, cut aparts from the collection. Those go in there. Turn the page. This is the, the paper from the collection. Here's the other part of the that paper um, paper source paper I used that's that, that you saw in the beginning. Here's here's the last page of this signature. Back at the fireplace again. Here's the back side of that signature, and here's the the back side of this um, journaling part. So another pocket, and then I made another one of these. This one's deck the halls, and that just fits in here. And of course. This one comes out also. So let me take them both out so you can see. So that is what it looks like. Two signatures. You punch your little holes up in here. And you don't really see these. These are holding these in. These are easily removed. And this is all you see on the binding back here. So that's the, the journal part. I thought this was a brilliant idea. You have everything in this little book. It's called a do -si do Here's the, that's the way it sits. So you have the mini album part here, right, right here. And then you have the junk journal or the journal part in the back. And then they all can be wrapped together. So that is my take on um, the do -si do And I have a, a closure here. There's two different types of closures. You can either use, let me show you this one. You can either use the ribbon that I started off with, or I, I made this little button closure with the elastic cord too, that I thought this was real simple to use. And it just goes on like this. So it just holds everything together. There's the album. Look at that. So let me know what you think of this. The full tutorial will be up shortly. Um, you can get all this, everything you see here, well, almost everything from Scrap and Create, some stuff from Amazon, and I will have a link below. And I hope you like it. Bye. See you soon.